Morning guys, so if you are interested in a morning routine of a stay-at-home mom with a newborn and toddler, both two little girls, then just keep watching this video, huh? Yeah. Cut me in and Our normal morning routine starts about 4.30 or 5.30 when this little girl wants to nurse. And I try to nurse her to back to sleep so I can sneak out of bed probably 30 minutes to an hour after she's fallen asleep, get out and she won't wake up so I can have my me time in the morning. That is so crucial for me to have a good day and where I can get things done. If I don't do this, I get nothing done. When trials come before me, you were all I need. Always on coffee water and this right here is my weekly planner I reference this every morning to see what I want to get done and so since it is now Monday I have to jump forward in the week in my planner and then so all I really do is just separate what I do in the morning or what I want done in the morning and what I want done at night mornings for me look like trying my hardest as you saw to nurse Ellie back to sleep and get her to stay in the bed for at least 30 minutes to an hour so I can wake my toddler however she was up from 2 to 5 last night instead of waking her up at 8 a.m. like I normally do I'm gonna let her sleep until 9 9 30 but we're just gonna hang out until sissy wakes up okay so how's that sound we're on diaper change number four this morning so I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed while Elliot is just chilling and so much for her sleeping in this morning and of course she's not gonna move when i film her there she is you see her moving yeah oh well it's eight o'clock i'll go ahead and get her up so at least i have my outfit on now everything i'm wearing is target by the way but let's go ahead and get her up since sissy is doing just fine cuddling here Somewhere. cut me in and Stream, I can hardly speak. I can't spell it out for you. My mind is weak. After I get our girl situated, it's usually time for me to nurse Elliot again, and I usually try to go on the couch beside Parker so it's, I'm not separating what I'm doing away from her. I'm trying to involve her in it. I don't really care right now, but I try anyway. And I'll go pick out their outfits. I've actually started having a lot of fun with picking their clothes out now that Parker's wearing dresses, which Target, best place. Best place. I think she's hungry again. She kind of cluster feeds in the morning and that's okay. You know, I just, I don't really have a set timeline with her. I just feed on demand. One goal I like to do every day is let Elliot have one good morning nap. It's usually 30 minutes, honestly, but where I can go and have one-on-one -on -one cuddle time with Parker, my oldest, it just means so much to me and her, where it really sets the tone for the day. One of the other things, that, there's so many things that sets the tone, but that's one of the main things. Another thing, she hates getting dressed. Oh my gosh, so I have to kind of make a game out of it. And she thought this was pretty funny, so that was a win. You were all I need. Every morning I like to get a baby wipe. Uh, Pampers Pure is what I'm using here with my CeraVe micellar water to wash, to wash my face. And then I put on my moisturizer, tint, uh, tinted moisturizer, and then a little bit of concealer. I'm using Beauty Counter right now, and I really love their products, but that's pretty much all the makeup. 
that I have in my house so that's what I'm putting on now and then I just kind of like straighten up my hair I'd already braided it this morning and I after Parker's dress has been sitting there for a little bit just to prepare her that I'm gonna change her diaper and change her clothes because it has been a nightmare for the past month or so to get her changed in the morning so I just kind of lay everything out slowly it seems to work better that way and then while she's watching her show, I open up all the blinds in the house just to let some natural light in. It just really helps me in my sanity so I don't feel like I'm living in a tiny apartment box. For breakfast with Silly Girl, is having a half a cup of Greek yogurt, a tablespoon of Nutella, and a banana chopped up with um, cinnamon. What are you doing? You're so little. I love you. This is one of the hardest meals of the day to feed her is breakfast. A bite. That's all she wants to do is play. Yeah. See, so yeah, I've been trying to do French braids on her, and sometimes it's successful, sometimes it's not. Today it was not, but it keeps her hair pulled back for longer. Yeah! You're gonna hurt your knees. <laughs> that not creepy or what? I made me some toast. I was actually gonna make acai bowls for both of us, but I didn't want to wake this one up. But of course, she wakes up as soon as I put the eggs in the fryer, huh? Yeah. So I made this today because I'm trying to get Parker to eat toast and eggs. She's the pickiest child in the world. Literally, we only eat a smoothie, acai bowl, or a yogurt bowl in the morning. That is it. That is it. So I'll put this out maybe in the hopes that she'll try it. If rivers can reshape mountains, then I know I can move Hi. you closer. Are you ready to go? Do you, do you come with me? Hi. Say hi, hey, Mama. Hi, hey, Mama. All right, so it's finally probably about 10.30 whenever I film this bit. That's whenever we usually try to get out of the house. And I freshly nurse Elliot so that she's happy for a good hour, two hours. Now that I have Elliot secure, I like to go through my purse real quick to make sure that I have a change of clothes, diapers, wipes, that type of stuff in there. Then I'll pack Parker's purse and hide two little Hershey kisses at the bottom. And now that everything is ready to go, the trick is getting Parker out of the apartment. She's eager to get out of there and she wants to leave, but she gets distracted. And then there's her slowly strolling out. She just likes to take her time. Um, honestly, she's spent the last year running everywhere. And now she just kind of takes the, the world around her in slowly. So I'm fine with that. Trying to film a morning routine by yourself when a lot goes on is difficult, but so I just have my halo um, powder. I'm just gonna do my T zone. And I usually don't actually wear makeup today, I just kind of felt like it. And if I do wear makeup, it's this beauty counter stuff. I just got the five minute face kit and I love everything except for the mascara. I actually put on a little bit of blush to even out. Where I have anyway we're gonna go grab some coffee I usually do this every single day and if Garrett has my husband has a morning break then we will go see him so I just went to this place called French uh, truck coffee company this coffee company and it was so good but I brought both girls in as you see I kind of broke a sweat a little bit not gonna lie to you but anyways we're gonna go find something else to get into make some kiddos happy. Let's get everything situated. Alright, ladies. So, Parker likes to go through my purse. And Elliot likes to sit up here too. But I have to roll down my window or leave the door open whenever I do this because Parker has and will continue to try to let me out. 
I'm a nurse Elliot right now. We're at my husband's work. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're gonna wait for him. Parker always requests, what are you doing? We often like just a few minutes. But anyways, oh, what I get, I'm obsessed with vanilla lattes. I was going to CC's and Starbucks every single time, but yeah. it's my birthday. I wanna treat myself. Yeah. It was so packed and this little one just wanted to explore the world. She was really sweet. She was going up to everybody. Is that cool? Yes. Well, hi there. Parker took my phone and threw it on the floor, but queen of stretching. Aren't you? Yeah. What are you trying to get, Parker? I think sister finished the team. She's so happy. Yeah. Um, anyways. Parker, be careful. No, hot, hot, hot. You got it all over your head. Parker just poured half my in her seat. Well, let me see your dress. There might be something back here. It's wet. There you go. It's dry. Guys, seriously, motherhood is like the craziest thing ever, but it's the best thing ever at the same time. It's dry. The dress isn't dry, but Garrett always sees Elliot, but he never gets to see Parker in the morning, so she always requests him, and he's gone for 12 hours. He's gone from 5 to 5, so she really likes to come see him, so that's what we pretty much do every single day if he has a little break in his day, and if he has more than an hour break, then he'll come home and spend time with her, but... Where are you going? You going in the back? What's back there? She's a mess. You coming over here? You coming over? Or are you going back there? Mr. Proud Bob. Mr. Proud Bob. Want this book? Brown bear? He's so good. Here's Daddy. Let's put him in the car seat. I can go riding with you. Awesome. You don't know. Going to a, a hobby truck place. What? Uh, where we went yesterday. You all went in? Yeah. Hey. How'd that go? It went fine. Parker was good. She went and hid behind these ladies when we were trying to leave. Oh. Oh. Quick little diaper and pant change for her before we head out. She was covered in coffee, poor thing. Alright, so Garrett actually got in the car with us for like 30 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and end it here because the morning is over. It's about to be lunchtime. And Elliot needs my phone for the white noise. But thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.